Hey everyone, welcome back to the next lecture of the C programming playlist. In this lecture, we are going to see the remaining part of the C tokens. In the previous lecture, we have covered the parts of the C tokens like uh, C constants and C identifiers. So in this lecture, we will cover the C keywords. What are the keywords that are available in the C language? Uh, in the upcoming lectures, we will cover the literals and the uh, operators parts. So without wasting much more time, let's get started. So let's move towards the computer screen and let's see what are the keywords that we have in the C language. So firstly we will see the what is exactly the keyword meaning. What is the keyword? So keyword is nothing but the uh, words that are available in the C language which are uh, added in the C library at the time of defi defining the C language at the time of designing the C language. There are some of the words that are, that are already defined in the C language. These words having a, some meaning in the C language. So these words we cannot use again and again. We can use this word as a keyword. So words which are designed in the C language for some particular purpose each word in the C language which are comes under the keyword section so these words are of having some particular meaning each word is having some particular meaning and we can use only this keyword for that meaning only we cannot use these keywords for some another use so there are lots of keywords in the C language but there are some 32 keywords which are very important in the C language that 32 keywords we will use in the upcoming lectures and we also have used some of the keywords previously also but you may don't have idea about that keywords so in the current lecture we will see what are the keywords that that keywords we can we can use in the upcoming lectures and we have used that previously so let's firstly I will write the definition of these keywords so keywords are nothing but the words that are predefined in the C language by the C language designers. and these words are having some particular meaning the very important note behind these keywords is we cannot use these keywords again for some another use we can only use these keywords for that particular use for that particular meaning that is already defined by the developers of C in the C language so note is that so let i will highlight with the red color so note is that we can use these keywords only for their predefined use We cannot use these keywords as a variable name, as a function name, as a structure name. We cannot use these keywords as a, any type of identifier. So we can use only these keywords for this particular meaning. So second note is we cannot use these keywords as an identifier. Okay, this is the main important two notes that we should have to consider while using any keyword in the C language. So let's see what are these keywords. Basically there are 32 keywords which are very important for us and we can we will only see these keywords in this in this chapter. There are so many keywords there are 42 keywords near about 42 keywords which are came uh, after the C11 but we can here we will only see the 32 keywords because these 32 keywords are important for us in the upcoming chapter so we will only see these keywords here only. So let I will show you that keywords. So these are the keywords that we can use in our upcoming lecture. So we have a keywords like auto, then we have a break, then we have a case, care, continue. There are so many keywords. You can see here we have a total these 32 keywords. In each line we have a total 8 keywords. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and this 8 by 8 by 4 is 32 keywords that these 32 keywords we will use in our upcoming lectures there is no need to remember these keywords there is no need to mug up these keywords we can when we will use these keywords day, day by day you, you automatically gets remem uh, remember these keywords so there is no need to remember or mug up these keywords 
so this all about these keywords if you like these keywords chapter then give like to the video subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends so that them also get the knowledge about the c language and for this lecture it is enough uh, i will meet you in the next lecture with the another topic till then keep learning keep coding and thank you